you can see how the Israelis are attacking Anawa in Jerusalem. Uh, and, you know, just out of spite. Just out of spite. There's no reason, but they just want to storm uh, the headquarters and destroy everything. Here, take a look. Jesus. Look at these nut jobs. Look at these nut jobs. I mean, like this is this is what when when you're saying Palestinians and Israelis should live next to each other. Well, first of all, you have to ask the Israelis to stop living on top of Palestinians. That's number one. But you're basically asking Palestinians to live next to these psychopaths who, who literally, literally want to destroy and eradicate them and have done nothing but destroy and eradicate them since 19, uh, 1945. So basically uh, coming in mass, you know, mass waves of emigration from Europe already end of 19th century and then uh, 1948, the Nakba uh, begins properly, and then they've been doing it ever since. And and even the aid organizations, even the UN, are attacked. This, if you know, if you know the region, this is no surprise to you that the Israelis behave like this. That they attack everyone: the doctors, the journalists, the humanitarian workers, the health health workers, everybody. You know, UN. It, it doesn't matter to them. They they don't care. It's like you you're you're in my way of stealing this land. I'm gonna kill you. That's their thinking. You know, I want this land. I'm a European settler, I want the land. Really, really just look, look at this. I mean, again, I'm gonna play this again. Look, listen, to, listen to this banging. <laughs> And then Israelis and Americans, you know, these, these white Europeans, they want to go around the world saying like, oh, you know, look how civilized we are. We're surrounded by these Arabs. Uh, excuse me, you? <laughs> look at your behavior, first of all. You want to talk about civilization? Look at this. Look, look, look at this mob mentality, this, 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 you know, revolting, like, settler colonial mentality of stealing other people's things. Unbelievable, you know? I'll play you another clip, just, I'll go back to the UN in a second, but I just want to show you this clip because I came across it a few moments ago. This is from an Egyptian, um... Uh, channel and you can you can hear what the Israelis are saying behind her. They're trying to mock her and stop her broadcasting. So de death to Arabs. See that death to Arabs. This is you know um, something they love to chant. Right. And then they say that that they are oppressed. So they say death to Arabs and then they claim the Arabs are oppressing us. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. OK. Do, do, I mean, do you hear people who are protesting for Palestine saying things like this, like uh, death to Jews? No. But the Israelis happily say it, you know, death to Arabs. They happily say this. And if they see someone who's Jewish who is protesting for Palestine, they will even say, I hope they rape you. You know, like the wildest thing that you wouldn't even imagine that you wouldn't even think to say. Going back to Anawa, this is in Gaza now. I'm jumping from, from Jerusalem to Gaza. There are 20 to 30,000 people sheltering here and had to leave almost immediately. They were not able to take anything with them. You'll see behind me and all around there are children's clothes, shoes, toothbrushes, hairbrushes. Everything's just abandoned and was left here. People were living here, they were sheltering here, they felt safe here in this Umrah facility, and they were given next to no notice to evacuate and had to leave almost immediately. They left everything behind, 
you can really feel the haste that people had to leave. Yeah, it's so, funny. Uh, I saw her. I saw this video, and you know, all, I, I was thinking not just of the the human uh, uh, toll, obviously, but look at the environmental damage that this does. You know, you would you would think that that all these uh, uh, Green Party and and uh, you know people who care about the environment that they would care also about this. You you can't deny that this is bad for the environment if you don't care about human beings, first of all. Maybe you care about the environment, right? Maybe that's, that's your priority. I don't know why, but okay. You know, you can care about both, right? So care about both. Go, go ahead and talk about this because in all of these Green Party, uh, uh, Green Parties in Europe, they're really f liberal fronts. They don't care about the environment and they don't care about human beings. That, that's, that's really the gist of it. When it comes to imperialism, they're fully on board. Look at the foreign minister, the German foreign minister, if we can even call her that, who pretends to be a diplomat. She's from the Green Party and she is, you know, like, uh, uh, she's Dick Cheney. There, there is no difference between her foreign policy and Dick Cheney or John McCain or Barack Obama or George Bush. They're all the same shit. She, she is, you know, she marches in lockstep. You would think maybe she cares about this, you know? Who's going to clean this up? What, what, what impact is this going to have on people's lives? What about the white phosphorus? What weapons are being used here that will give people problems afterwards like they did in Fallujah? Do you care about that? Nothing. So, you know, this is, this is uh, unfortunate because the people who are on the ground like her, uh, you know, they are risking their lives. They're doing a lots, of, you know, lots of important work. And then the message gets here and it's ignored by the establishment. They just don't care. We don't want to listen to UN. We don't want to listen to doctors who've, you know, people have been there. No, let's just keep sending weapons and keep making money. You know? I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> she must be really hot. She's wearing a cap and the UN helmet. I've got mine from my parents over here. Hold on. This is my parents' one, UN helmet. But, um, you know, the, the, for the Israelis, for them, UN is a target. You know, just like the doctors, just like the journalists, they, they, don't, they don't understand um, neutrality. Like I said before, it's like, we want to take this land. If you're in our way, we'll kill you. This is Israel's mantra. Again, YouTube demonetized my channel because I'm not allowed to say naughty things about Israel. Um, you know, telling the truth is forbidden. So uh, if you are able to donate a few dollars on PayPal or uh, on a monthly basis on Patreon, please consider doing it because it would really help me continue my journalism and support independent media. So I'd be very grateful. And the links are in the uh, description and also in the chat. Thank you guys very much again uh, for all your donations and all your kind comments. I appreciate it very much.